Hello, welcome to Murphy's Kitchen. Healthy cooking, it's a lifestyle here. Hello families, welcome back once again to my kitchen. Today's recipe is just simple and healthy and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. So let's get started. Here I have my wild organic salmon. I'm just going to soak it with apple cider vinegar and some salt and I'm just going to allow it to sit for 2 to 5 minutes. So after the 2 to 5 minutes, I'm just going to wash them thoroughly. I will just pat dry with a paper towel or you can pat dry with your clean kitchen rag. I'm just going to bake it under 350 Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. So whilst I'm baking my fish, the salmon, I'm just going to blend the rest of the ingredients, the ginger, garlic, onion, and I have some spices that contain the glove. This one contains glove, all-purpose seasoning, and some anise. So the all-purpose seasoning is thyme, rosemary, and all those leaves, spices. So the spices, you can use any kinds of spices of your choice. So at this time, I'm just going to pour it in my bowl and I'll set it aside. Since I used the spices blender to blend it, some of the ginger was not able to blend. So I'm just going to use my grater to grate it and I'll add it. Then I'll set it aside. Here I have my tomatoes. So this recipe, I feel I need to grate the tomatoes because when I use the grater to grate the tomatoes, the tomatoes slides because I don't want the tomatoes to be thick in this sauce. So it's optional. You can use your blender to blend it or you can use the same method. And also if you want your tomatoes to be too smooth, you can use the smallest part to grate it. I don't want mine to be too smooth. There's the bigger side to grate my tomatoes. So whilst I'm done now, I'm just going to set my tomatoes aside. Now I'm just going to prep the vegetables. So the cucumber, I, I chose to peel the skin off because this type, the back is hard. So I'm just taking the back off. So it's optional. You can choose to leave the back on or you can peel it off. And it also depends the type of cucumber that you'll be using. And when I take the skin off, I love the crunchiness of it. So that's my preference. So now all my vegetables are ready. I'm just going to set it aside. Here I have my pot. I'm just adding my red or palm oil to it. And after that, I will add my cut onion and I will allow it to cook for some minutes. After some minutes, the onion has cooked to my desire. So I'm just going to add the blended spices or the ingredients to it. And I'll stir it. I'm just going to add my tomato sauce to it so that they will all cook together. Now I'm just going to cover it up. I'll cover it halfway because I want the water from the tomatoes to you know dry off. So I don't want to cover it full. Now my fish salmon is ready. I'm just going to break it into small small junk pieces. This recipe calls for that because I want to see all the fish everywhere and it gives the flavor to it because when I break it and I add it to the sauce because they have been breaking down into small small junk pieces the flavor is able to come out easily and infuse with the sauce so for this recipe yeah it calls for this so the back of the salmon I love it so I'll just take it with my scissors to just cut them into small small pieces then I just add it so I don't throw the back of my salmon, I add it to it, I just cut it into small, small pieces. So after some minutes, the water from the tomatoes have been dried off completely. And I'm just going to add my salmon to it. I will just cover it up and allow it for some minutes to cook so that the flavor from the fish will infuse with the tomato sauce. 
beans is one of my favorite plant-based source for high protein minerals vitamins fiber it's also low carb low carbohydrate so we have so many types of beans not only the black eye the black eye is the commonest so i am trying to explore all kinds of beans so i'll find my way out to make a whole lot of you know good recipes about it so this one is also one of my favorites so i hope if you try this bean sauce you love it <laughs> so try it now i have all my vegetables already so i'm just going to add it to my sauce i don't want to overcook it so i'll just stir everything together and i'll just cover it halfway and allow it to cook or steam up for one to two minutes then i'll add my beans something special something tasty something continental show me how so after one to two minutes I'm just going to add my beans to it. So these are the types of the beans I'm coming to use. The white one is chicken pea beans or it's also called gambazo beans. And the red one is pinto beans or you can use red kidney beans. You can also use the black beans. So they all cook nicely. They are super, super soft. I'll bring a video to show how I cook my beans. They are super soft. They are not together but they are just single out so i'm just adding it to my sauce so after i mix everything together i'm just going to cover it up and allow it to cook for one to two minutes because I don't want to overcook my vegetables and everything is already cooked so I don't need to cook it for long so after one to two minutes yes my beans vegetable salmon sauce is ready look at the way you can see all the salmon everywhere and you can think of eating it anything in your household and you just garnish the top with some spring onion and my sauce is ready so today we are just going to eat with some rice, some akakro. When I say akakro, it's ripe, plantain, blended, and we fry it. So that's what we are going to eat for today. So you can eat this sauce with any kind of food in your household. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you get a notification about it. And I hope you try this and don't forget to also leave a comment for me. So until I come your way with another healthy simple recipe, take care and I love you all. Bye y'all. This pizza, show me how to cook. Your pastry's that baby and easy.